People in Texas, Arkansas, and the Lower Mississippi Valley are waiting for their lights and heat to come back on after snow and ice storms, and they have more snow headed their way. 30 people have already died because of the weather. Some of them were just trying to keep warm in their homes or in their cars as they deal with record low temperatures. Three million homes and businesses are without heat in Texas alone. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is asking people to shut off water, too, to keep the pipes from bursting and get the pressure back up. Seven million people have to boil their water because of damage to their systems. And now officials with Duke Energy in the Carolinas say that they're bracing for as many as a million power outages between North and South Carolina. They have already dealt with damage from a tornado earlier this week. Consumers Energy in Michigan is sending crews who are already on their way to help. We have Roger Morgenstern with Consumers joining us this morning. Roger, we know that you've already got about 50 of your crew members headed that way. When do we expect them to get there and, and what type of impact are they bracing to have? Yeah, good morning everybody. Uh, they are looking to see quite a bit of damage from freezing rain, which uh, we know is really the biggest enemy of a utility. Uh, they spent the night in West Virginia. They're actually expected to have some tough sledding this morning driving from West Virginia over to North Carolina. But we're, we're expecting we'll see many, many down wires, broken poles, broken cross arms, similar to what we've seen here in Michigan with ice storms. So uh, they are very well versed in the reconstruction of, uh, of a utility. trucks, if you will, the bigger trucks this morning to meet with Duke Energy, assess the situation and be ready to, to hit the ground running when we get to North Carolina, probably late today or more likely first thing tomorrow morning. Sounds like they do the same things there or will do the same things there that they have done here. But do they have a little more expertise since we deal with it more here? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, in Michigan, we get thrown all sorts of different weather. So we've got our best and brightest headed down in our blue and white trucks this, this morning to, to help out Duke Energy. This is part of a mutual assistance agreement we have with utilities across the country. And they reached out to the Great Lakes area um, earlier this week, and we uh, marshaled our forces and we left Jackson yesterday morning, about 50 of us uh, with trucks and, and equipment ready to go and um, we're there to help. We know how frustrating it is when people are without power and we will do the best we can to get folks back on as safely as we can during these extraordinary winter weather times. Nights in shining consumers energy <laughs> trucks, I'm sure for those crews in North Carolina now dealing with a second major outage after that deadly tornado. Roger, more concern with consumers. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and good luck helping North Carolina. Thank you.